Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be times when you both disagree, these will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You'll have heard many words of advice in the past when the secrets of marriage were spoken, but you know that the answers lie hidden inside where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. <laughs> it's the dawn of a new life for you as you stand there together with love in your eyes from the moment you whisper, I do. And with luck, all your hopes and dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all starts. It's great to see you all here today to celebrate the marriage of Rebecca and Craig. I'm so proud of both of them. If I get a bit emotional, that's typical of me, and it isn't every day that the eldest daughter gets married. And only this morning, I was talking to a very attractive young lady who introduced herself as Miss Rebecca Bugden. And now I hear in the afternoon, she has changed her name to Mrs. Rebecca Strachan. Rebecca, my beautiful wife. Words can't describe how much you mean to me. However, some of you may remember this wasn't always the case. <laughs> you see, me and Becca first met in Tenerife back in 2010, whilst I was on a lodge holiday and she was there on a romantic week away with her boyfriend. <laughs> I think I can safely say that we didn't get on. However, that all changed one Friday night I was working behind the bar in the house, four years later, when in walked a group of lasses this being Becca and her pals for Gemma's leaving night. At the end of my shift I got chatting to Becca and the following day I started messaging her. I must have laid on the charm factor 50 thick because after that date we haven't looked back. We have all here today witnessed Rebecca and Craig exchange wedding rings containing gold as a symbol of their undying and eternal love for each other. I'm quickly going to slip into a little interest of mine and use a few words and thoughts from Professor Brian Cox, who you may have seen on the TV. Gold has been revered and admired for its beauty for centuries. Its rarity is such that only about three Olympic sized swimming poles of gold have ever been mined on the earth. Gold is not formed on the Earth, but is created in the death throes of the most largest stars in the universe. These stars then explode as a supernova, flinging their contents, including the gold, across the cosmos. Supernova are the most single powerful events in the universe. So in exchanging rings containing gold, we reckon Craig's love is really cemented in the heavens, with gold formed light years away, billions of years ago. Now Craig, just whenever you're ready, he'd like to put the ring on Rebecca's finger and you repeat after me. As a seal to my vow. As a seal to my vow. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Let it be a sign of our marriage. Let it be a sign of our marriage. All that I am, 
I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I will share with you. And all that I have, I will share with you. With you, I will walk my path. With you, I will walk my path. From this day forward. From this day forward. I, Craig William Strachan. I, Craig William Strachan. Accept you, Rebecca Rose Bugden. Accept you, Rebecca Rose Bugden. As my wedded wife. As my wedded wife. Rebecca, just whenever you're ready, I'd like to put the ring on Craig's finger and you repeat after me. In the presence of our families and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. Today I marry my best friend. Today I marry my best friend. The one who I have chosen. The one who I have chosen. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And to be true to you. And to be true to you. I will laugh with you. I will laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. <laughs> through all the days. Through all the days. Given to us to share. Given to us to share. I, Rebecca Rose Bugden. I, Rebecca Rose Bugden. Accept you, Craig William Strachan. Accept you, Craig William Strachan. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. I now have the pleasure in declaring that you, Craig, and you, Rebecca, and my husband and wife. Whee! Like I say, you mean the world to me, Becca. In the three and a half years we've been together, we've done so much together, from getting a season ticket at Tawdry, <laughs> to going on some amazing holidays, none more so than our holiday to New York where we got engaged in Washington, D.C. You've, come a, you've become my best friend and I can't wait to spend many more seasons together at Tawdry. <laughs> of course, the two biggest things we've done together would be build our house and have had Harris. We've survived this without killing each other, so I know we can take anything on together. Everyone can see what a great mummy you are to Harris and how much he adores you. You've taken everything in your stride and I'm so proud how great you're doing with him. You're the most thoughtful, kind and caring person I know. I've been reading this part of the day for quite a while now, and I've been wondering in the past few weeks what I did so special to deserve such a role. Speaking of Tenerife, back in 2010, whilst on a wild lads holiday, I remember sitting by the pool chilling next to Strahan, and by coincidence this is the first time he spoke Rebecca. And in his usually excited tour, he turns and says, Wah, can't you chicks, chicks the steely deeds on her, I'd definitely give her one. <laughs> You're both near and dear to me, and if you join me in wishing the new Mr. and Mrs. Strahan and young Harris all the wealth, health, and happiness in the world to the bride and groom. <laughs> Rebecca has been kissing boys since she was two years old, but now she has found the best boy to kiss. She is married to Craig, a fantastic guy, married into a lovely family with more new friends, got a gorgeous son Harris, a home from, fit for a princess, and today Rebecca, you are the most beautiful girl in the world, and I love you.
and Rebecca from today onwards. May the two of you always be the answers to each other's questions and the reason for each other's happiness.